30 minute game let's see how we get on here just gotta keep practicing the learning enjoying the games just got to keep feeling that groove feeling the happiness of what we're learning and yeah because i'm in no way like beating myself with a stick and going you must do it this way you must do it this way you've got you've got to win no i'm looking to improve the quality of my games um as you must know by now <laughs> okay because even the victories as we've seen they they've got holes in them like the last game it's a a matter of being very critical with yourself and um, saying to yourself, well, yeah, we won, but could it have been better? And yes, they, nine times out of 10, they can be better. Just don't overthink, but don't underthink. It's just a small piece attacking this bishop. Let's take this bishop up. Not yet, actually, not yet, not yet, because we don't want to develop their queen attacking the annoying B pawn. And we do like to just move the knight out of the way. What we're going to do about this B-pawn. Yeah, we do like doing this. So we'll just bring the knight across. And we like tantalizing the pawns going up here. It is a 30 minute game, so don't need to move quickly. Don't need to think quickly. Don't need to overthink. Don't need to underthink. <laughs> Keep reminding myself. Just take, take. And let's tantalize this pawn here. So I've taken the thoughts out of the queen coming to the B pawn out of the equation at the minute. That's the longer term, bigger picture. But for now, we've got advantages that we can try and push. Don't really like doing this because the head of the snake gets hit, but the head of the snake can only be hit by this pawn, which is in front of their king, which probably is a little bit better for us. So it's not going to be taking. I think we're just going to push and invite at some point. The capture of the king. Well, capture of the pawn, king's pawn. Just looking to get rid of the middle of the snake. Not taking the bishop just yet. Are we overthinking that situation? Because we do have the rook, etc. And attacking the king. Knight coming, attacking their knight. He pushes. He's got a fork. See, doing all this dancing, he's got a fork. So if we take he takes he's still got the fork so we may as well take the bishop off the board to get rid of this fork thing and they didn't take with the queen so they're not going to be on the b pawn okay right so let's attack their knight probably not going to take but let's attack the knight he's still got this so or this whichever one he's going with Okay, so he's attacking the knight, doesn't care. So we've got to check on his king. Queen's probably coming here to get into some action. Oh, the knight takes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, interesting developments. Let's bring the knight down. Head of the snake, maybe. So this big queen does have passageway towards our king area. Supporting any attacks on the head of our snake. So kind of thinking, just pushing the pawn, pushing the pawn. I think hitting the head of the snake here kind of does open up it's constantly having to support this pawn so the queen's fashioning some sort of 
I probably think they're still coming for the B pawn. That's what I think. So I'm going to, or maybe not. There's maybe slyness in their madness. Maybe moving here, then the queen's coming across. So I'm going to continue with the pawn push up towards the king area. So we'll leave this pawn. Let's not bother touching that because it's just going to open up a can of worms. Pressure on this pawn. We just have to babysit it. So we can push one and then look to push again. I think obviously they're going to move the knight. All right, so the queen's not actually directly sorting that at the minute. So if we pushed one, if they did take, then we took, then the knight moves to here. He's going to have a two on one on the pawn. We push, but then the queen can come behind the pawn with a check on our king. We can come here with our queen. Takes, takes, and then there's a bit of capturing. Might be down a pawn, but positionally, should we be okay? Okay. So we hit a mite in there, didn't we? So let's go. One. Takes, maybe. Takes. Knight goes here. Push onto the knight, onto the pawn. Queen comes here. With a check on our king. Queen comes here. Queen takes, king takes. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Knight comes here attacking the pawn. Yeah, so. Hey. Yeah, so we might be down a pawn, but positionally feels okay it's just that we don't have the rooks in readiness to take advantage of that i don't think there's a knight move coming in knight no because the knight's going to move it's going to be on the pawn right we're going to be down a pawn but i'm believing in the position afterwards Let's go and attack and attack. It's this point here where we might even rethink the attack because we were going to attack the knight. If we attack the queen and the pawn, that's where we're going to be down a pawn as well. But there's open space in front of their king to start hitting. So if we go there, say the pawn takes, Pawn takes. Knight takes. Queen check on the king. King is going to probably go here because it wants the rooks to come and attack the. Then we go here and attack the king. He moves back. We look to try and I don't think we're going to be fast enough though. I don't think we're going to be fast enough, but that feels a lot clunkier for the opponent. Let's attack the queen. Just trying to give them things to think about. Oh, what is then nothing like what we calculated. So the queen, if they come here, that our queen can take. Oh, that's totally messed everything up, hasn't it? Has it made it better for us? Takes. Does the king even bother taking? I mean, the knight's got this. Can we bring our queen here? 
I'm going to bring the queen here, but then he just pushes the pawn down. Ooh, let's think about that. That looked nice, but then he can just push the pawn onto the queen. Then we can come here and there's no stopping the mate. I'm going to bring the queen here. And there's no stopping the mate now, is there? There's no... Wow. Don't celebrate just yet, though. They might find something weird. But the king can't move anywhere, so the knight can't defend. Queen can't get in. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, damn, damn. Let's move the king. Or maybe I could have just moved the king here. I'm giving him checks. Oh, I could have taken my time with that. I could have just moved here. Yeah. We'll go back and just go here. Oh, no, that's even worse. Because he just goes here, don't he? And we don't get the... Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, I've messed it up. I messed it up moving too fast. Oh. Ah, oh, sad times. And he's not done that. He's not done that. All he had to do was go here. Ah, oh, there's no stopping the mate now. Yeah, he just had to bring the queen there. I messed that up. Oh, silly me. Oh no, the knight's protecting that area. Oh, this is getting worse. We thought we had it. Just get the rook here. This is what it feels like when you're in the on in an over the board game and you you feel there's something there and the opponent just finds this, that and the other. And it's not even magical moves they're finding, it's just you haven't fully taken care of. The king can't move, so there's nothing definitely now that can do that. Comes here, we can just slide here. Yeah, job's done. Oh man, they resigned. Analysis on that last bit. Shocking, shocking, shocking. Yeah, me, I'm always let. Oh, God, it's a bit big there. Right, um, so. Let's go back, back, back. Right, so the queen comes down. King F7. That's what we did. So the computer actually says King F7 as well. Because, in essence, it, it knows that that going there is just going to mess everything up. King e7, yeah, exactly. Just make my way over across the other side, not this way. I thought, coming here, I'm going to be defended. But that's not right, is it? Because of that. Oh, shabby, shabby, shabby. Yeah, let's just try their way. And then knight looks like it's being forced to do something now. Because the queen can't get to this square. Could put some more checks on, I was thinking. Maybe they could put another check on here. Rook f6, just to block. Could we move? But then he just go. he's not going to go there, is he? Could come down here, but then the rook could come here. Is he getting space? Doesn't like that, doesn't like that. Rook takes, queen takes something, g4. What? g4? Oh, with a check, gets rid of my queen again. Oh, definitely don't do that. Right, okay. So king, e oops. King e7. And if he puts the check on, squeeze the rook up, blocking. Queen g7, more checks, get the knight involved, blocking. 
So now it's got a nice protective little shell. And it's saying queen takes f6 check. And that would be it. Yeah. Boom, boom. And then they'll do something with the knight. Well, the knight takes g with a check. Whoa, ho, ho. King g5 attacking the knight. Knight e3. Yeah, that's the position protecting the pawn. And then gives us space to bring the rook here to get that position. 